me talk about, let's just, let's bring in a trial of here that Joyce may talk about. There was MA31, which was presented at ASCO last year, um, lapatinib versus trastuzumab with taxing. And could you explain that trial? Yeah, big, big first line trial, phase three, simple design choice of taxane, paclitaxel, docetaxel, with either trastuzumab or lapatinib, head-to-head -head comparison. And, um, you know, quite clear um, results with the lapatinib and tra uh, taxane inferior on progression-free survival, you know, en enough so that it was a clear-cut, um, you know, result. So, you know, not too surprising um, given, you know, Kim Blackwell's data later line, you know, don't stop the trastuzumab kind of idea, you know, which data came out after the MA31 was started, of course, you know. So, you know, I think um, that would certainly argue against, um, you know, single-agent uh, lapatinib. The survival advantage of the doublet, though, with the trastuzumab and, and lapatinib um, uh, is of interest and I think is, is used in patients who have, you know, relatively asymptomatic disease. You want to give them a, a break off of chemotherapy. Um, we're doing a, a, a mini study of, uh, of lapatinib long remitters have a, and uh, doing some uh, genomic analysis, you know, starting from the phenotype, working towards the genotype. So there may be some niches there, you know, for so patients. So are you using, how are you doing the ge your genotype in the entire tumor? Yes, uh, with foundation medicine. It's a foundation medicine study. Okay. And just, you know, picking out these lapatinib long remitters okay. who are inflammatory, breast cancer, ER negative, or 2 positive, all of the chest wall, refractory to, um, primary refractory to trastuzumab and chemotherapy, some long remitters. So we're looking at the yeah, genotypes. Yeah, we have a few of those too. We should maybe send you that you genotype. You yeah. Okay. But, uh, you know, people have been on for years, which is fascinating, who had disease that grew on trastuzumab. Uh, but, you know, it's going to be interesting because Alto, of course. Right, Alto. The well, then we're going to be talking about Alto, get into is, the little know, adjuvant if, therapy if here. Shows, Alto's coming out soon, we assume. If it shows right. an improvement, which we all suspect it will, with the combination, then uh, that's going to be before all of these other new agents in terms of the adjuvant setting, right? So what will happen is that we'll have everybody on adjuvant trastuzumab lapatinib. They'll progress and they'll get TDM1 pertuzumab. Maybe that's what's going to happen. I don't know. <laughs> Putting them all together, who knows? So, anyway. All right, so let's talk. Before